some crazy borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful October day. So, today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of diamond painting on this, on this uh, cute little 20 by 20 snack size full drill of some little pumpkins. So I've started, I've done a little bit and this one only has 15 colours so yes I'm going to try and see how many my challenge for this month is going to be how many pumpkins can I actually diamond paint in one month <laughs> let's see let's see so this one is classed as free because obviously they are free pumpkins in this picture so yes I've already done a couple as well on my ornaments that I've done so yeah, let's see how many I can get through, okay? So, let me zoom you up. I'm working on Z now, symbol Z, which is DMC code 947, which is, of course, orange, vibrant orange. There we go. Very nice. This one was from Timu, and I purchased it myself out of my own money yes so I'll do a little bit of this colour and then maybe a darker shade afterwards I'm filming later on in the evening today because we've had a, a bit of a drama today in the crazy borgie household so I'll tell you more about that another day though because it's still not over yet so yeah anyway if you haven't done so already if I could ask you to please consider liking and subscribing and follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgie's Diamond Arts. I was actually thinking about pulling out some uh, one of my latch hook kits that I was supposed to do. That I was going to start this year, but I don't know where I put it, to be fair. Maybe it's under my table, I'll have to have a look. Whoops, there we go. Whoops, just throwing my diamonds around today. Yeah, I haven't been feeling too well today, to be honest with you. But hopefully I'm over the worst of it now. gorgeous little cute pumpkins I don't mind this type of pumpkin because they're very cute very cute they remind me a bit of um, of Casper the ghost yeah that movie I don't know why they just do remind me of that So, what are you guys working on? Anything interesting? I'm really into doing nice autumn pictures at the moment. I did want to go and get um, a pumpkin, like a diamond painting pumpkin, but find one to be honest I had to look on Timu all of them have scary faces and I don't really want one with a scary face so because I just want to decorate the house in like um, autumn leaves and a few little bits like that not not scary stuff
might try to do a bit of multi-placing. been thinking about doing this one for a while so I can't remember when I got it it might have been this year actually or maybe last year I don't know please excuse if you hear any Christmas music in the background one of my children just loves listening to Christmas music and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, Christmas either it could be any time of year so should we do some multi placing? Let's try. have to go through this whoops sorry guys I just knocked you have to go through this with a straightener I think so today I was saying to my daughter just now that I finished watching the Monsters Netflix series and um the song, oh my gosh, is just playing around in my mind now. Driving me insane. But I do like, I was saying to my daughter that I do like Netflix because they do make you see things from another perspective, another point of view. So, yeah. And that's the thing is, is in that Netflix series is they play around with so many different theories of what could have happened, why it happened, etc. It's very interesting. But only they know the truth. to multi play a uh, single place in now there we go well, I'm gonna go off I'm gonna finish this color and then I'll come back and we'll do a different shade, okay? So just hang on one second. Right, so I've just done all of the that other colour now. So I'm going to be working on the lovely vibrant green shade over here. Okay. Oh, we've had, as I said, we've had a bit of an emergency today. I can now tell you because I just got back from dropping my eldest off at hospital. Yes. <laughs> Once again, she fell down the stairs. Yeah, it is a, uh, happens quite often actually because our stairs are very steep. So... 
I actually was having a nap on the sofa and I got woken up to this awful noise and I knew straight away what it was and it was her that she'd fallen down the stairs basically so yeah that's the situation at present I've had to take her up to the local hospital accident and emergency and um yeah we had to just wait and see if it's broken or not her foot it's her other foot this time it's not the same foot as the one she hurt the other year either so oh gosh it's all fun and games in my house so yeah that's the situation and her brother is sitting up there with her as well to keep her company because obviously i've got the two younger ones to look after as well so I can't just go up and you know leave them to the look after themselves so yeah that's the situation so I um, don't know how long they're going to be up there they could be up there one hour they could be up there four hours it depends how busy they are she um lady I spoke to on the telephone she said she would let them know she was on her way there I don't know if that makes any difference though to be honest with you because still if someone comes in ahead of you and they've got a more urgent injury they're gonna you know you're still gonna have to wait so yeah that's the situation at present so don't ask me what happened I have no idea she said that she just was wearing socks and it just her sock was wet and it just slipped on the stairs so I'm hoping for her sake that it's not broken because if it's broken they'll probably have to do some surgery on it or maybe put it in a cast or something I don't know let's we'll see I feel like she's jinxed herself a bit though because of where she's been saying to me recently oh I've not had any hospital stays or visits you know since I was a little girl and I was like yeah and usually as you guys know it's always me that ends up going off to hospital so now she's going to experience it from the other side if it is broken I'm hoping it's not I don't think it is because as I said she just well she's been able to walk on the side of her foot but not the foot itself um so yeah but when she initially done it not long after she done it she started losing the feeling you know sensation in her big toe in her her toes so that was a bit of a worry obviously and she did go really a funny colour and look like where well, she did sort of semi faint. But um, yeah. Fingers crossed it'll just be like a, a sprain or something like that. So yeah. That's what my Wednesday evening's gonna be now is waiting for the phone call to come and collect her or come and just collect her brother if she's kept in. To be honest, I don't think they usually keep you in hospital these days for just um a break, a broken but it has to be a pretty bad break, I think. 
So we'll see, we'll see. I did try to ask her if she heard anything crack or snap or anything. Because usually when you break your foot, you know you've broken your foot because you hear it and you feel it. You can't usually move it at all. But it's best to be safe than sorry. always something <laughs> so as I was saying I'm going to try and see how many diamond painting pictures I can do with pumpkins in and that goes for off canvas as well Done. There's that little section done. Where's my little tool? This is a really good tool to have handy when you're diamond painting because it really helps keep your diamonds your, or your lines actually straight. Just do this little bit up here as well. this little area over here I didn't tell you what what symbol I'm doing did I I'm doing symbol V and DMC code is 
number eight, which is 906. And that's the shade there, the vibrant green there. The dog's upset because she's wondering where she's gone. Very attached to my daughter. Right, so she's very attached. As I said, you will hear some background noise because kiddies in the evening. Okay, there we go. So there's that colour done. Okay guys, so that's where I'm going to end this video and I thought I'd leave you with a little look at my um, autumn slash fall display on my fireplace. So we've got the gorgeous squirrel with the broom and the leaves, our gorgeous apple tree, the sign of October, and then our gorgeous birdhouse and of course I had to get Mr Squirrel out as well so yes so there we go yes that's my little autumn October display on the fireplace and when I get this little cutie completed I will obviously show it to you because it's at my table guys when I say I'm using my little Timu um, phone stand actually it's really good for three pounds anyway yeah obviously I have to straighten those diamonds out they are a bit wobbly but that's okay that's what this is for really good little tool okay guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's um, been a bit of an odd one but you know when life happens got no choice but to just carry on haven't you and hope for the best so that's all we can do okay so take care god bless and i hope and pray that you all have a blessed and peaceful evening okay guys and i'll speak to you all soon bye for now bye